Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, when we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. We're home. We are. It's so nice. As much as I love our RV. Yes. And we have a pretty comfortable bed in there for an RV. Nothing is like your home bed. No. What do you like? Leave in the comments down below. What do you like best about your bed? You know what else is nice about being home? Little TMI warning. You get to use your own bathroom. Yes. Well, I mean, the bathroom in the rig is our bathroom, but... Okay. It's so, not the same. Whenever I go on vacation, whether it be to Las Vegas, to Utah, to Texas, or even camping, sometimes the bathroom issues just don't go. Yeah. And so, yeah, nothing for like three or four days. We're obviously shy. And then uh, get home and I woke up in the middle of the night where like, yep, you're home. <laughs> the other thing that we don't have in the RV, and, and we have to blame Chris from Keto Chow for this. Okay is we don't have your little device. Oh, the bidet? That you absolutely were against getting. I was so against getting that, and now I think it should be on the top of everyone's Christmas list that does not have one. What does Chris say? Nobody ever regrets buying a bidet. That is definitely, <laughs> it's, it's not something that I'm gonna run back into the house for if there's a fire. It's not like on grandparents' photo level. But it will be in every house we ever own for the rest of our life. There you go. There's, <laughs> there's the testimonial right there. Do you have a bidet? Let us know down in the comment section. It, it sounded like such a weird, bougie thing. And Rachel was just like, I am never going to have one. And then we put it in and she's like, where this is, is this great all my life? This is the greatest thing ever, especially on cold mornings too, because it's also heated. <laughs> so when we don't always get cold mornings, obviously, but right. when you do, you're, it is a shock to the system. Mm -hmm. I think more so than, than people that live in other places and are prepared for, for cold weather. So it is day 40 of the beef, butter, wow. bacon, and egg challenge. Four zero. Four zero. And uh, we're on the countdown. Wow. We're going to continue this. Basically, we're going to continue this through and go off of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs on November 2nd. Yeah. So November 1st, we have appointments to get our labs done at 11 o'clock. And since we're already halfway through the day. Might as well just finish it up. We're going to finish up the whole day that way. And then we're going to break beef, butter, bacon, and eggs uh, on Tuesday with pretty much, I think, our only meal. We're going to have, we'll have some coffee and then we're going to eat buffalo wild wings. It's perfect. It's it's perfect because it's buy one, get one day. Yeah. And we're going to get it, as we've said before, with none of the seasonings on it, just so that we can see what how we go. What does chicken do to us? And we're also going to do it with no blue cheese dressing, right. which is definitely going to be a different thing for us. But again, we are trying to honestly find out what works for our bodies and what doesn't so that we can, you know, if we find out that chicken gives us some inflammation, it's not that we're not going to eat chicken, but we may not get it every single Tuesday. And certainly I'm not going to get it on Tuesdays where on Wednesday I have something right. that I need to, to, to be, you know, inflammation free for. It's just a matter of figuring out what, what is good for us, what isn't good for us, you know, what makes us feel the best. Yeah. And like Rachel said, just because something may cause a little bit of inflammation doesn't mean we're never going to have it. It just means that we're going to be able to put it in its place and know what to expect when we eat it instead of going, hey, I don't understand what's going on with my body. Right. Why am I inflamed? You know, we'll know, oh, you're inflamed because you ate chicken or you're inflamed because you had a whole bunch of heavy cream. But we need to make sure that we know what is the cause and not blame chicken when it could be seasonings or it could be 
you know, the dressing. Right. So we have to take this, you know, one step at a time if we're really going to evaluate different ingredients in our Now, life. we won't eat the wings just plain. We're gonna make our own little sauce at home, pretty much with butter and a few drops of Frank's Red Hot, because we know Frank's Red Hot is fine for us. And it's really just some cayenne pepper uh, with some vinegar and stuff, and then just lots of butter. So it'll still have a little bit of flavoring, but I'm excited for that. But it's funny because you were talking about, you know, like we need to know what is causing issues. And there was a comment in one of the recent videos that they've been on uh, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs for about 10 days. And they measured their ketones mm -hmm. and they're like a 0.1 and they're very concerned. And I just want to say if you're doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs and you're really doing it, that means you're essentially eating zero carbs. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple of carbs in your eggs, and but unless you're eating like eight dozen eggs a day, uh, I wouldn't even worry about that. But you're essentially doing zero carbs. Right. So let's explain oxidative priority for a second. Mm -hmm. and, and I know you may have heard this, but some people haven't heard this. Yeah. So when you eat, your body looks at an order of what it's going to use for fuel and get rid of first. Number one is alcohol. It's going to dump the alcohol because it's a poison. Right. It doesn't, it can't do anything until it gets rid of the alcohol. Get rid of that first. That could take a few hours. It could take a couple days. It's just going to depend on how much you drink. That's why if you're doing keto, are there keto friendly alcohols? If you mean keto friendly where it's zero carb or right. very low carb, yes. If I mean keto friendly where it's going to affect your journey on keto, no, there's really not such thing as a keto-friendly alcohol because all of them are going to temporarily stop the production of ketones. Right. Okay, so after it gets rid of the alcohol, it's going to use protein for the amino acids and stuff, but not for fuel. Okay, it doesn't do that. It's just using it for the amino acids and building blocks and things like that. Then it's going to get rid of the carbohydrates. So if you eat something with 20 carbs in it, before your body can get to the fat that's in the food you eat, it's going to get rid of the carbohydrates. After the carbohydrates, then it's going to go after the fat that's in your food. For example, we each have a tablespoon of butter and a half an egg in our coffee. So we're going to get rid of those carbohydrates and then we're going to go to that dietary fat. Then it goes to your body fat. Right. Okay, so knowing that... And after that, if there's no body fat, no carbohydrates, no nothing, then it'll use protein for fuel. But your body doesn't want to do that. It takes a lot to it get to that point. It takes a lot. So again, we I, I like this analogy. If your car gets four miles to one gallon of gas, and now you're going to give a gas substitute, well, on that gas substitute protein, it would get one mile for every four gallons of protein. So it doesn't want to do that. That's, That's why we don't efficient. concern ourselves with calories from protein. Because we all have body fat anyway. So your right. body's always going to go to that body fat first. So when you look at that, if you're eating essentially zero carb, the only thing that your body could be using for fuel at that point is fat. Right. So don't worry about what the keto mojo says or your keto coach says. I don't put a lot of stock and I know I'm in the minority, but I don't put a lot of stock in you have to be 0.5 or higher to be in ketosis because you can be burning fat without having a whole bunch of extra ketones in your blood because that's what you're measuring. You're measuring extra ketones and those extra ketones will go down regardless of what you eat. Right, and we saw that. We did a demonstration where it was only keto foods and you saw our numbers go down in a past video. Yeah, now what I would say is if you're only doing beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, and after a week or so, you're seeing absolutely no results, there I might start analyzing how much and how often are you eating. I know Dr. Barry said you can eat as much as you want, as many times a day as you want, but that doesn't mean every hour on the hour put food in your body because right. you would be creating insulin and you can't lose weight in the presence of insulin. So maybe narrow it down to three meals or four meals. Take a look at how much are you, are you eating excessive amounts of fat? Yeah. You know, so the best thing to do is eating fatty foods like a ribeye or an egg or something like that. 
and then adding a little bit of fat for flavor and cooking purposes. Well, and for us, this whole 40 now days have been about playing with that lever right. and thinking, you know, where am I actually hungry? And I think that when you're getting your fat from the fatty ribeye, an egg, that sort of thing, it's not like adding extra butter, I'm able to gauge when am I actually full right. and then going into the next meal, I'm aware of what that feels like. And it shouldn't feel fat, nasty full, right. right? It shouldn't feel like, okay, now my day has to shut down. I'm that full. If you've gotten to the point where the bottom line is coming out both ends right, right after you eat, you probably ate too much. Yeah. I mean, and, and I know that sounds weird because we're telling them you can eat as much as you want. But to a point, you should be, like Dr. Barry says, comfortably full. Is it fueling my day or hijacking my day? That's a good one. I, I don't that's want another t-shirt. I don't want it you to hijack. You and Bronson, hijack. you come up with really good t-shirts. I don't want it to hijack my day. Like, I want to eat breakfast, feel full, feel sustained, feel undergirded for my day ahead. But I can't be like, okay, it's 8 o'clock, time to take a nap. Right. <laughs> I have a day. <laughs> a perfect point. We eat that pork belly. I can't eat a whole lot of it. No. I mean, the combination of the protein from the pork belly and the fat from the pork belly, it is very satiating. It fills you up. I Pretty much every time we've eaten the pork belly, I get three quarters of the way through and look at Rachel and mother, you want my share? Because yeah. like, I'm done. I can't eat anymore. Butter in my coffee? I could put a stick of butter in here. Me too. And it, it's going to be good. It's going to taste amazing. Yeah. It's not necessarily going to fill me up. No, it's not for me either. But it's funny that you say that because, yeah, I could drink four of these. Right. Thankfully, I'm restricted for this challenge to one cup a day. I mean, it's a giant cup. But right. I could drink this all day long. Absolutely. But in that giant cup, you've only got a tablespoon of butter. Right. And so... I can tell you moving forward, that would probably be something that I would cut out for myself or at limit, and that is make sure that I'm only using a tablespoon of butter and not doing it all throughout the day because it's just unnecessary fat. Right. You know, it's, if you're doing it instead of having some heavy cream or it's the only way you could drink your coffee, that's a great way to do it. But if I'm going to drink four cups of coffee throughout the day and in every cup of coffee, I'm going to put a tablespoon or more of butter in there. That means every cup of coffee is now a hundred calories of fat. And then you're tacking that onto all of the food that you're eating throughout the day. Well, and I think it's good to, to always be checking my relationship with coffee because in the past diet mentality, Rachel was like, coffee doesn't count. Right. So therefore I would use coffee to sneak a meal in, if right. that makes sense. Like I would have a 400, 500 calorie coffee and then say, I haven't eaten yet today. Right. So instead of having that mentality, what I would like to do is have a cup of coffee, eat some food and feel like I had breakfast right. rather than acting like it didn't even happen. Yeah. I mean, it's a mistake I think a lot of people make and that we made ourselves of drinking a fat coffee in the morning and saying, I'm still fasting. Right. If you're drinking a coffee that has one or two tablespoons of butter, yeah. you're eating a meal. Right. And that's the bottom line. You're having a meal. And I, I need to mentally deal with that. If I want to make coffee my breakfast, then fine. That's breakfast. Right. But at least acknowledge that it happened instead of the way I used to do it, which was this. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, busy day now that we're home. Anthony and I need to go cut. You've got a bunch of stuff to I, prep for kids' I got ministry. a bunch of stuff to prep. I got a ton of laundry. Mm -hmm, always. And uh, and then tonight we have a live stream. So we have to, I have to get some extra stuff for our um, costume. And I just want to say this now, love. before love. you put it on, how much I love you that you're willing to wear this particular costume. Make sure if you miss the live stream, you go back and hit the replay of it because there's not very often you see me make a complete fool of myself. Tonight's the night. But I'm going to do it for you. Also wanted to mention, I just finished editing. So if you're watching this video, you get a little sneak preview because it's not coming out for a couple of days. But when we were in Las Vegas, uh, we got to spend a little bit of time and interview Nicole Burgess. Woohoo! So I'm awesome. going to put a link for that little, it's a short interview. It's only like eight minutes or something like that. I'm going to put so a link awesome. right up here. Nicole 
is amazing. She's awesome. She's amazing. And the two of you go back and forth with who inspired who to she, stop coloring hair. Oh man, she's she's an inspiration in so many ways for me. So yeah, people ask us all the time, like, what is Rachel's natural hair color? There you go. This is it. If you've watched the last four years of videos, you wouldn't have known that. No unless one Unless you've only been watching us since December. My children, whenever they would do like an All About Me project, what's your mom's hair color? It was like question mark, question mark, question mark. They would bring it to me like, what do I say, mom? Purple, blue, yeah. green. So why did you stop coloring your hair for all the new people? I stopped coloring my hair because you guys gave me the freedom to do that. Mm -hmm. I, you know, had been talking about it, but I thought... There's no way that you can just be in your 40s and let your your grays go. Mm -hmm. I, no one, everybody's gonna think I look terrible. Right. And everybody was like, let your natural color come out. Mm -hmm. Stop dyeing your hair. It's not great for your scalp or or anything. Especially, I was always using like super cheap box dyes. Right. And so everybody was like, just be you we're comfortable with that right and so i felt so That's supported. almost a year i felt so supported and i have been afraid to do it forever because my hair uh, like there's a thing that runs in my family my grandmother went completely gray white when she was like 16 17 years old and i had the same situation and in high school i was not ready to be storm from x-men with with white and gray hair storm's pretty hot though i know she's super hot but i wasn't in a good place there as far as feeling good about myself to be myself right. so i i really feel great and i love and i think we talked about that a little bit with nicole um, about how now when my roots grow out, it's propelling what I'm trying to achieve with my hair, not a detriment right. that it's like, oh my gosh. Because you can see how much hair growth, because in, in 15 years of marriage, she never had hair growth. No. It was falling out faster than it was going to yeah. grow because she was always nutrient deficient and protein deficient and and then coloring it with you know all of these ammonia products and, and coloring products. So it was never really healthy. And now, I mean, it's hard to tell, but she's got like this much growth in a year. It's been amazing. And yeah, it's not and like- And you don't cut your bangs. Right. Well, and it, I think it should be something that when we see growth, we celebrate it. Mm -hmm. Not like, oh my Unless gosh, Unless you're wearing growth. a sweater on your back. Shut it down. <laughs> yeah, or yeah, or your mustache. Okay, we're going to get our day started. I have no idea what we're going to eat for dinner because I have not defrosted anything. So I'm going to look in the freezer and then I may stop at a store and find something. Definitely going to be something, I think, on the barbecue. Mm. Hey, baby. I'm home. What are you doing? What are you watching? I don't know. I was folding the laundry and hanging up clothes and I turned on QVC for some dumb reason. And um, did did QVC buy buy out HSN or vice versa? Because now they're both on the same channel. That's weird. But I'm just looking at all the holiday stuff that they have because I love holiday decorations. We're fine to watch QVC so long as it's not in the kitchen with David. We can't watch we David Venable. We love him too much. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take a quick shower. I got an email that um, your Expecto Patronum <gasps> purse. Expecto. Oh, got delivered to Hot Topic. We bought it online because it was 50% off. Do you want to go with me to pick it up? And then yes. we can go to like Sam's Club and find something to cook for dinner. Both of those things are an incentive for me to get up and stop watching QVC. Or the first week of November. Who the heck wants plant-based chicken wings? I don't know. I don't know what we're thinking in designing stuff. Plus, you know that's going to have all kinds of sugary sauces in order to cover up the taste of the wings. Look what came today that we still can't have. Great. I ordered them too, but I didn't think they would be here before November 1st. I am so sorry, baby, but it's a limited edition white chocolate raspberry cheesecake flavor. And I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm really wanting some of this today. So, uh, the ingredients are so clean, which is why we're really excited about them. Let me tell you, the ingredients are organic cashews, organic coconut butter, <sighs> cream cheese, organic cocoa butter, organic pea protein, organic almond butter, sour cream, organic raspberries, organic vanilla extract, sea salt, and organic monk fruit. 
Okay, what are the macros? Because the front of the box is saying six net carbs and three grams of sugar, but we don't do net carbs. Right, so the calories are 270 calories per bar, 23 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, nine total carbs. Then you've got three dietary fiber. So the sugar is coming from the raspberry and it that is. kind of stuff. But that's where I would want my sweetener coming from, right? It would be monk fruit and then actual fruit. So there's not even any sugar alcohols in that. No. Okay, so there is going to be a link down below in the description. If you use that link, you get 20% off. We're absolutely in love with these. I yeah. cannot wait till we can reincorporate them into our lives. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm all showered. You smell good. Thank you. And your legs look really cute. I'm They're like super tan. I'm look at my head. I'm like tan today. <laughs> my back is tan, but I'm a little bit like I was a little bit chilled, so I wanted like long sleeves. And I know when we go to the mall, it'll be like colder. So we're gonna run to Hot Topic to pick up Rachel's purse. Then we're gonna go to Sam's Club and find some kind of meat. I'm a little noshy, so I'm gonna have one of these meat sticks, pure beef can always tell when Rachel was the last person to drive the car. Because are you sitting up on top of the, the steering wheel? Gotta go backwards. What did you do today? Well, I prepped everything that I needed to take to church tomorrow. I had to cut out a bunch of stuff. So I went over to my mom's house and she helped me with it. Thank you, mommy. Um, I also got the curriculum for the next couple of weeks for the toddler room because she actually helps put that together and she is amazing and she wanted to have it done ahead of time because they got uh tickets to disney world right. so the first week of november my mom and my sister-in-law becky and my brother steven and the kiddos are going to uh disney world it's called pixie dust yeah. tickets you can only go during the week but that works out with their work schedule so um yeah they're really excited about going back to disney so my backpack came in joe bought this way back when we got a 50 percent off coupon but it's the harry potter expecto patronum backpack purse which i'm super that super one is cool because it's got like all about. the spell stuff on it and then look it's got the deathly hallows on the zipper and then it says expecto patronum that's a pretty decent size one too and then they gave us a 10 percent off coupon for coming to pick it up in the store for like the effort and um they had buy one get two free on the funko pop so for ten dollars and then actually i got three dollars off that so for seven dollars i got all three of these pops i love seinfeld's one of my all-time favorite shows so here's El elaine when she is writing for the catalog and she has the sombrero and then there's jerry in the puppy shirt and then Soup Nazi. So we're gonna head into Sam's Club to see what we can find for meat, meat for dinner. So Sam's Club here and BJ's is right across from each other. Of course, there's still a Dick's over here. There's always a Dick's and there's a BJ's. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go to Sam's Club first because they always have better things with meat. People ask us all the time, like, which is the best wholesale club for keto? So if you're looking for meat deals, my personal experience is Sam's Club has the best meat deals. If you're looking for like keto friendly products, it's Costco. Yes, they have good snack options. BJ's is good for other stuff like lunch meat, yeah. um, your laundry detergent, that kind of stuff. They have the best prices for that kind of stuff because they take coupons. What? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. It's not even Halloween yet. I love every year. What are the new outdoor decorations that come out? Because it's super cute. Look, Rachel, they have a new thing to hang your clothes on. <laughs> this is a clothes hanger, or at least it was in my house. It's a $600 clothes hanger. It's a $600 Not clothes just in hanger. your house. I guarantee you, at the comment down below, have you ever How many clothes? people use their treadmill to actually store their clothes instead of walking on it? Yeah, this is a great deal. We're gonna grab some plates. They're the China ones. They're on clearance for $13.48. And what I love about these is I can put them in the microwave. There's no plastic on them. So you do have to be a little bit careful when you sauce something because sauce can come out the bottom. But you know, nothing's sitting in my plate long enough to, to wet it. 
There's actually only two packages left because they're $3 off. So let's just grab them both because that's a significant saving. Caleb always supports this idea since he's the guy that does the dishes in our home. We need to get some eggs. We just use the cheapo eggs to make the Maria Emmerich bread since we're throwing out the yolks anyway. These are our favorite sausages. Actually, they're our second favorite. This over here is our first favorite, the cheddar jalapeno, but we still can't have those yet. So we're going all beef. Anthony likes the cheddar jalapeno so that every time we open up a package, he eats like all of them before we even get to right, one. Right, he loves them. Wow, the ground beef selection's pretty skimpy. Normally we get these ground beef patties, the 90% ground beef patties, because they're 364 a pound. And that is actually cheaper than buying the frozen ones because the frozen ones are like 355 a pound for 85.15. So I'd rather buy these, it's like a fresher meat. But we can't. They don't have anything. The only thing they have is this 80-20 ground chuck. I guess we're gonna get that because I'd like some ground beef and we don't have anything. Here we go. We're gonna get a nice roast. This is a bottom round roast. $4.88 a pound. So this one's four pounds. That's enough for Rachel. But look, that's got some nice little marbling in it for a roast. We're gonna throw this onto the rotisserie. Take about an hour. So this is one of the reasons we really like to come to Sam's Club for our meat because they do a lot of clearance. Look at these ribeye steaks, $5. It's still $46 for three of them. But you know, $5 off for the package. Uh, we've got this over here for the tenderloin filet, $6 off. Uh, so lots of good deals. We call it our special meat. This biggest ripoff when it comes to buying meat because you're paying for this giant bone, which probably weighs about a half a pound or more. And at current beef prices, I would personally stay away from the cowboy steak. So now we're talking. We got brisket on clearance. So uh, this one's $5 off. This one is $4 off. They just do a flat 10% off, which is a good way to do it. What do we got? Uh, that one's not on sale. Here's a nice one. Coming in November to a Rachel near you. Shrimp, because yes, I am ready for some shrimp in November. I was all ready to get this because it's a limited time only, $7. But who the heck wants blueberry? Definitely not. Well, we need coffee and uh, can't ever pass up a clearance on coffee and it happens to be McDonald's res. So never had this before. We're gonna go ahead and try it because it's uh, $3.47 off a bag. Okay, we just found this. Nature's Garden Probiotic Keto Variety Snack Pack. So we have two kinds in here. A keto snack mix, which is almonds, pepitas, walnuts, cheese balls, macadamias, and hazelnuts. And then we have a chocolate version where there's some pieces of chocolate in there. Um, Let's see. The one with the chocolate is almonds, sugar-free dark chocolate chips, which is chocolate car, inulin, erythritol, cocoa butter, sunflower lecithin, as an emulsifier. And then we have vanilla extract, stevia, roasted hazelnuts, toasted coconut chips, pecans, MTT oil uh, from coconuts and palm. It has 160 calories per bag, 14 grams of fat, nine total fi uh, carbs, five fibers, and four protein. This is a good option because they're individually bagged. Like, and you get 18 of them for 13 bucks. Yeah, but again, our problem is we have a problem with nuts. And if I have a big bag of it, like some of these bags that are around us, I'm gonna eat the entire bag. But if I know this is what I'm allowed to have, uh, I would probably do better with this. So not a bad option and very, very clean. Even the chocolate for the chocolate version is pretty clean. The non-chocolate version is only four total carbohydrates per bag. They also have this. We get these in our keto crate a lot. They're wonderful pistachios. And here's the thing. You have two options. You can buy this box of 24 packs, which is $14.98. So that's like, what, 75 cents a pack? Or you can buy this big bag for $15. And I know you're gonna say, hey, Joe and Rachel, you guys are all about saving money. I would always purchase this over buying this. Two reasons. Number one, pistachios, not the greatest keto-friendly nut. They are higher in carbohydrates and they have more natural sugars in them. Uh, but if I have this, I'm just gonna keep going. Whereas once again with this, I'm going to like be limiting, this is how much you're allowed to have. Also, if you are going to do pistachio nuts, make sure you're buying them like this in the shell. Don't buy like the pre-shelled ones because you're just gonna keep going. At least when you're eating the shell or you have the shell, 
it's gonna make it take a little bit longer to go through it. It is noisy in here. Here we have the rice cakes of the keto community and that is unflavored pork rinds, which we are still going to purchase because we can't have any with a flavor on them. And that whole tub is only $6. Of course, once we're out of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, we will be eating a lot of porking good. Yes. I have a whole bunch of them on their way to me. I ordered all of the clearance ones. And we have a link down below along with a coupon code for 10% off because pork and good are awesome flavored pork rinds. Unflavored, these are not bad. They'll do the job. I absolutely love Sam's Club Scan and Go. Me too. You don't have to wait in line. And then they also check it. So it's not like you're gonna forget something and, and get out the door. I just wish some of the other wholesale clubs would, you know, implement it. Please it Costco. makes it so much easier Please and a lot of times it. I will actually come to Sands Club over BJ's since they're across the street from each other just because of Scan and Go. Exactly. We are so classy. We're gonna do a grocery haul right here in the parking lot because yeah, that's us. Um, first of all, we got a big honking barrel of pork rinds because yes, we have a beef brisket flat on special because we're special. Our meat says so. We got some McCafe uh, premium roast medium coffee. Not the fancy stuff, but the on sale stuff. Actually, we got two bags of that. We got two packages of 18 eggs. We have three big things of these Chinette plates. We have dinner tonight, which is a bottom round roast. <laughs> we got a big giant log of hamburger because this was the cheapest option they had. A big package of our beef smoked sausage. And this was a request by Anthony to torture us. And that is raw, easy peel shrimp because he's making something tonight with shrimp. What you doing? So when we buy these big logs of ground beef, what I like to do is divide it up into roughly 24 ounce packages. So that's one and a half pounds of ground beef so that we can just go, okay, this one is like three quarters of a pound for each one of us. That makes like a perfect amount of food. So obviously a couple of them are like gonna be slightly over, but would, if I divide it up this way, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six packages, and now I'm just gonna vacuum seal them. And when you have it down to just like one pound or one and a half pounds, they defrost very quickly. Like put them on your counter within an hour or so it's defrosted. It's a lot better than trying to take this big five pound thing and if you flatten it out, it'll defrost even faster. And it's a great way that, hey, you know, I don't have something defrosted, but I want to have something in a couple hours. This is a good like go to. Now, most importantly, have we put the roast on the heat to get it started because that's dinner? Now, I've got the fire started and we're going to put the roast on in probably about 10 minutes. Hello, sir. What are you doing in the house? Did you come say hello? Mm. You wanna come here? Come here, come on. Hello, how are you? Say hi, Tabitha. Tabitha, sit, sit. Say hello. You wanna go see mommy? Mm. You wanna go see mommy? Look who came in the house to say hello. <laughs> The only time that he will come to you is when he's off of the cage. Off of his cage. When he's off of his cage, he loves everybody. Maybe Except not. for John Paul. Yeah, yeah. John Paul, he loves all the time. John Paul comes to visit. He can stick his hand in the cage. He can pet him. Grayson sticks his head out through the cage. He can pet him. Nobody else. Anybody else, he bites. Right. But off the cage, he's the sweetest bird in the world. And Miss Jelly Jelly down here is... I know. She wants I to just want to play. Yeah. Grayson. Say hi. Grayson. Say, say hello. hello. Say hello. Hello. Pretty bird. Like, no. No. Tabitha, get down. So jealous. Okay. Come on, let's go back. Come on. You want a piece of meat? I'll give you a piece of meat. I gotta go cut it, okay? Okay, let's see. This, so this one is a little bit different. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's good. 
that was good. Here we go. That looks beautiful. You're getting good at this. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. You excited? I'm definitely excited. I am ready to eat. I'm giving you my favorite part, the end. Do you like the end of a roast beef or mm. the middle? You're glowing with this cinematography mm. on the iPhone. It's so good. That is so good. And again, very, very inexpensive for a piece of beef. And it Especially took an right hour. Now. An hour to cook on a rotisserie. Really? You're already eating? I'm so excited. I'm pretty hungry. It is like we're it, it's at a later day than we were planning. So that's on me. We had boiled eggs and stuff. I should have just eaten some this afternoon but this is looking really I'm good. I'm excited about this because this is not the end round. Mmm. 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 I think this is more tender. Well it's cooked where we want it. Yeah. You could probably even go rarer. Wow that's but good. But I, I couldn't get the temperature on the Kamado down. I had it at 400 and I really wanted it at 300. Mm -hmm. But this took 50 minutes to cook. Dinner in 50 minutes. Dinner and it's in 50 like minutes. Anniversary dinner. And, it's, so and good. it's really good. And I think this roast was, if I remember right, it was like $19. I don't think you can beat it. And there's a lot of meat. It, there really is. So, I mean, this was like a four and a half pound roast. It's just super inexpensive. And all I'm doing literally is. Coating the outside with some of the Redmond garlic black pepper seasoning. Mm -hmm. I just actually ordered another one because we're going through so much of it. I want to try another one of the roasts and do the lemon pepper and see how that tastes with it. Well, I feel very hopeful for that because we enjoyed that lemon pepper beef jerky. Yeah. that The little sourness with the, the beef. Mm -hmm. Not something I'm used to. Usually I use that for fish or for chicken. So I'm excited to see it with the beef and see what it does. One of the things that I'm finding exciting about beef, butter, bacon, and eggs is we're discovering cuts of meat that mm -hmm. we haven't really used a whole lot of in the past. I mean, obviously we've made roast beefs, but the combination of the roasts along with the rotisserie on the Kamado Joe, and you can do this in your oven. Yeah. Just, you know. The whole idea that I'm doing is, you know, like 300 degrees. Rotisserie puts that nice little char on the outside. Right. But it's not something that we made a whole lot of. I used to think of, like, I'm going to treat myself to beef. We were going to have a steak. But who can afford steak at 15 to $20 a pound right now? Well, this is something that I think that we need to start incorporating more into the holidays. Because a lot of times we will make turkeys... Yep. You know, more than one turkey during the season because you're trying to feed a mess of people. You need stuff that um, it creates, you know, leftovers. Right. Usually that is a turkey because a chicken we eat in one sitting. Right. You know, but I feel like this was way faster than cooking an extra turkey. Well, who are you kidding? In our family, a turkey doesn't even last the sitting, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, this is it's delicious. It's a great way to do this. You can eat it cold, no problem. Yep. If you have a meat um, slicer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a meat slicer. And this the best thing to do is cook it like this. I mean, we've got a good knife to get it pretty thin, but mm -hmm. not as thin as you'd like it. But for dinner, it's good. But if you want, like, just a lunch meat, yeah. you can cook this up. And just slice it on, you know, your meat slicer, which you can buy pretty inexpensive ones. Yeah. Ours was like 40 bucks or something like that. There's a bunch of them on Amazon. I'll leave a link for a couple of them down below. But then it's really delicious. And listen, we love lunch meat. But number one, lunch meat can be expensive. You're going to pay over five. To, usually for roast beef, you're paying close to $10 a pound for it. Well, and there's no fillers at all. And that's this. the thing is almost every one of the ones that you see in the stores, even like the boar's head brands and stuff, they're usually injected with some type of a sugar solution 
or they've got caramel coloring in them. Yeah. Here you know what you're getting. And again, at, at less than $5 a pound, and it takes an hour, it, it takes me an hour to go to the store, wait online, and get my pound of roast beef. Well, I could even see doing this, you know what the kids would love? Have this made, cut it as you know thin as possible, and then serve it with some cheese on top and maybe some onions and um, peppers mm -hmm. for almost like a Philly cheesesteak type of oh yeah thing. I think this would be a really fun top your own, you know, Philly. And this one again, we we literally bought it at Sam's Club and came, brought it home, so I didn't have time to bring it really to room temperature. But it's a good medium. The mm -hmm. middle is like a medium rare. If I would have let it sit for an hour or two to yeah. really come to room temperature, it would probably be medium rare all the way through. But honestly, this is right how I like it. I don't want it too rare. I, I don't, I'm not Rachel. I don't like it super bloody, but I want that pink tenderness in the middle. Well, even for me, this is very nice. Like this doesn't this, feel this overcooked. Is, to me, it's, I feel like it's perfectly cooked. Yeah. It's exactly how you would get it if you were going to the store and buying some roast beef and things like that. So this is delicious. But I was going through the freezer. I'm trying to create room. We're trying to use, I know we had to go buy one today because we didn't have anything defrosted. But I'm going through and saying, what do we have in the freezer? What do we need to get rid of? What do we need to use up? It's time to rotate. Because number one, we need to, we always like to go like last in, you know, uh, first in, first out kind of thing in the freezer. We don't have as much stuff as I thought we did, but I'm also trying to create room because we're about three and a half weeks away from getting our cow. Yeah. Three and a half, four weeks away from getting the cow. So we got to make sure we have enough room. We have two freezers right now. One, which is storing paper towels. It was my way of hiding paper towels from everybody in the house because at $2 a roll, I don't like buying paper towels because we go through a whole roll in a day. It gets expensive. Yeah. So we had gotten like this major deal one day at BJ's. It was like $12 off a of pack. So you were paying $4 for, I don't know, I think it was like 30 rolls or something like right. that, right? But I got to condense everything so that we can fit the cow in. And look what I found. I talk, again, sometimes you don't know what you have in your freezer, mm -hmm. right? Look what I found in the freezer. We're going to make this tomorrow. This is from White Oak Pastures. I had bought this a while ago. I, I probably bought this the end of last year. Uh -huh. I don't even know. Um, but here's the thing. You know what this is? It's a prime rib roast. Hello. So we're going to make this. We think this is good. And I don't know if I'm going to go rotisserie or just go low and slow. I, I hate this. This is probably today at today's prices. This is probably a hundred dollar roast. Oh yeah. Easily. Um, let's see. It, does, it doesn't say how, oh, it's a four pound roast. So yeah. We couldn't afford it this year. Current ribeye prices. You're looking at a good 80 bucks for this roast. So mm -hmm. I don't want to screw it up. But I'm excited because I had no idea we even had this in the freezer. I vote low and slow. Look, look at all of that beef fat in there, the marbling that's in this piece. It, I, I'm excited about this. So we're, I think we're gonna go this tomorrow because I don't have a game tomorrow. Tomorrow's so we can gonna let be it delicious. Go. Tomorrow's gonna be a delicious beef day. We're gonna finish eating. Then you gotta get dressed for Halloween, friends. <sighs> it's that time of year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Not Christmas, getting Joe dressed for Halloween. <laughs> How do we manage to have every single fork in the washer right now? I do not know. And our steak knives. What are we doing? I don't know. I guess we need more silverware. It, it just more stuff to end up in the garbage can at Are we throwing point. it all out? I hate plastic. I and we're using a butter knife to cut. Well. <laughs> It's this or nothing, honey. That was a good live stream. That was fun. Apologize for the lips being off. I I have to go and check it. I was messaging with Chris and he's like, well, with the A10 Mini, I'm like, but everything, that setting has not changed in 15 months. Yeah. So I know it's not that. And the only thing I can think of is that somehow the stream started in 480 and then we switched to the 1080 and I think that may have screwed up the lip sync. But I don't understand how it got. But we apologize for it. You got to see me dressed up as Raggedy Andy. I that, like That's it. love. From that my is wife. love. That is love from my wife. I actually shouted you out on Instagram like this is love because <laughs> I know that was not easy for you to do. So um, 
Yeah, if you missed the live stream, you might want to go watch it, even though our lips are like not saying. Just think about you're watching like an old Bruce Lee movie. Yeah, there you, you go. Know? Um, but we do have some special things coming up next week. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit the bell notification. We have a really cool giveaway that is not being sponsored by any company. It's being sponsored by Joe by, and by Rachel. By Joe and Rachel. To say thank you because we're entering into the month of giving thanks. Yeah. Right? And we're going to be contemplating, are we giving thanks to what we really want to thank? Right. You know, like, so if you want to thank mobility, don't go lay on the couch. That's true. That's not thanking mobility. That's, that's doing the opposite. That's not using it. So we really want to give our thanks where where we intend to where mm -hmm. we want where we want to put it so we're eating some dinner and we basically are eating up the rest of that roast so mm -hmm. between the two of us we ate the entire roast but we i'm not going to complain about that no oh my gosh because it's beef yeah and uh rachel's having a couple of hard-boiled eggs we had made them we have them left over from the trip they're extra farty and yeah they they probably you know what happens i put them in the instant pot and if i do it if I actually am paying attention, they come out perfect. Like no green around the yolks. The way I do it is four minute cook, five minutes slow release, open up the top, drop it in a nice bath. Problem is four minute cook, no problem. My five minute slow release is generally 10 minutes because really? I forget. I'm, I like set so it. Are you... I hear the thing going, okay, it's on the five minute countdown. So you're but I'm... sealing in the fartiness? Well, what happens is, is when you do that, so you four minute cook, that cooks it. Then you're going to do five minutes slow release, which means you still have a lot of pressure in there. Uh -huh. It's continuing to cook them without generating more heat. Mm. The heat is slowly escaping. Then after five minutes, you let up the top and that's where all the steam rushes out. Right. And then you get them out of there and get them into hot, into cold ice water. Uh-huh. If you take more than five minutes to get the slow release, they're continuing to cook, which is what's causing the green around the yolks. Aww. So I think they still taste good. I, they taste good. It's just prettiness. But I'm always in the middle of editing a video or doing something else, and I forget that I need to go release it because there's no timer to let you know five minutes up. Now, if I was yeah. smart, I would set Alexa to have a timer for five minutes, but... I'm she does smart. love to keep timers, doesn't she? Though she, she loves to she loves to butt in whenever she you're just talking. Was like insistent on being a part of a conversation we were having this afternoon, and I mean, for a slap five minutes of us being like, "Stop talking! Yeah. Don't do that!" Stop I finally listening. yelled, "Shut up, Alexa!" I know. She still didn't listen. She was still doing it. So I'm I'm, I'm actually thinking about getting rid of Alexa. I'm going to give Alexa the booth and just. Like pull in Siri and go with the home pods. You better I, watch out. It's gotta be better. At least maybe Siri won't be as intrusive in my life. I don't know. She's listening. Does right anybody now. out there have a home pod? Yeah. Let me know if you like the home pod better than Alexa. Yes, Alexa integrates with more things, but we're also an Apple family, mm, so I don't know that. See, one. there she goes. Home pod would actually like integrate with our phones. Alexa, should I replace you with a HomePod? Sorry, I don't know that. She doesn't she, know. She doesn't know. See, she doesn't know. She knew all the, kinds the of things earlier. Stuff that I need to know. And oh, Tabitha wants to say goodnight. Well, I guess that's the cue to say goodnight. Yes. So let us know how everything is going with you guys. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. Well, whether you head this way or you head this you way, smell good. don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we get kisses from Tabitha, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.